Hi, in this video I'll talk about the Dodge Burn tool and as you can see just like the Blur Sharpen tool we have two opposite tools in one here. The Dodge tool brightens the pixels that we are affecting with the selected brush and the Burn tool darkens those pixels that we are affecting with our selected brush. Now some of the options here on Tilt Type are familiar from previous videos on other paint tools, I'm not going to discuss them. The type here controls which tool we are using, the dodge or burn tool. We can select it with our mouse or with the control key, but make sure you have the main window active to be able to toggle between them. Um, the next thing here, range. This controls the range of pixels that we are affecting. And uh, for example, here on shadows, I'll be dodging only the darkest pixels in the midtones. I'll be affecting the midtone pixels and the highlights. I'm supposed to be affecting only the brightest pixels, but let me show you here in this dark area. With this setting, I'm not supposed to be affecting these pixels at all, but if I make a stroke and I undo with Control Z, you see the difference, I'll redo it with Control Y. You see how I am affecting those pixels, even though I have this highlight setting here. So this tool is not the best tool in GIMP. Hopefully in the future will be better. Um, and same thing is with burn here. You can control which range of pixels you want to darken. The exposure here controls the strength, uh, the strength of the tool. So if I'm dodging right now and if I go all the way up to here with 50, you see what's happening. Control Z that. With 100, the effect is much stronger. So this controls the strength of the tool. Now, let's, for example, use the dodge tool to remove this shadow here. We'll use it on highlights, a little bit less exposure. And have in mind that you have to release the mouse and um, paint over again to build up the effect. So you see how we can remove shadows like that. Using this tool. And of course also uh, brighten or darken areas of an image that we want to. <coughs> now we have other tools who can brighten or darken an image but they are affecting an entire image layer, layer mask or selection. And here we have a ability to use a brush to make more sophisticated uh, editing to our images. Now this is the last tool in here in the toolbox. <coughs> have in mind that here in tools you can see color tools we have some more tools that we are going to discuss you can also find them in the colors menu here so we have more tools upcoming but before I go to them I'll probably jump here to discuss palettes how to create your own palettes gradients patterns brushes animated brushes so because we already covered these tools using this gradients, palettes and so on, so we'll see how we can create our own. So bye for now, thanks for watching.